Hey, welcome back to another great episode of Sell Those Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, we're replacing the coils and plugs on the 2006 Nissan Murano, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. As I said, we are we are replacing the coils and plugs on the 2006 Nissan Murano. Now I know what a couple of you guys on the channel are saying, uh, a few of my subscribers out there. Oh my goodness, Zach, you're knocking out another Murano. It's not another Murano, it's the same Murano. It's actually one of my buddies, you know, uh, anytime he has a problem with his vehicles, I want him to bring them by. Uh, I love making episodes about them and he helps me with my landscaping. So it's kind of like a, you know, a, a fair trade. So guys, the front three coils and plugs, I know what you're thinking. Those are simple, very easy, and they are, okay? Anyone can replace those coils and plugs. It's the back three that you are going to have problems with. You're gonna see in the guide that you are needing to take off the intake manifold, okay? There are a few things that you're needing to do, okay? Um, <clears throat> also, a few tools that you are needing. One, a bolt trap. Two, a 12 millimeter socket with ratchet, okay? Uh, three, pliers, you know, like slip joint pliers. Um, let's see, anything else? I used my uh, Trisalto trim tool. You know, I love that thing, okay? Not only do I use it for trim, you know, a little, you know, taking trim on the interior and engine and all that stuff out and the little pop pins, but I also use it to push hoses off that have been on the engine for uh, quite a while, all right? So it helps out. Um, let's see, anything else? A 10 millimeter. That's it, guys. Pretty uh, easy repair, and you're gonna save yourself about $250 doing it yourself. So the parts and tools used in today's video can be found in the video description down below. Also, if you wanna save more money, or make money, you know, <laughs> on DIY auto repair, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you are notified when I release new videos here on the channel. <laughs> So let's get into this repair, guys, and start saving some money. All right, guys, we're going to jump right into this. Uh, the front three coils are nothing. You're looking at three 10 millimeter bolts, and coils come off after you unplug the harness. You're all good to go. Now we have to deal with the back three coils. So, what we got to do is we got to get those two harnesses and the intake tube off. So, you'll need a flathead, a uh, screwdriver, the two harnesses that hose right there the hose right there and you got one in the back as well on the right side okay don't forget the hose on the front of the intake box as well those two uh canisters right there on the front they got to come off as well a 12 mil and a 10 mil those two are going to be your best friends on this uh repair that hose right there is held on by a hose clamp so make sure you have a pair of slip joint pliers and on the other side, you're going to have two hoses hidden on the back as well. So uh, also on the very back of the intake manifold, you have two 13 millimeter bolts holding it on to uh, just holding it into place. The easiest thing to do to that is actually take your front, uh, your front 10 millimeter uh, two nuts and four bolts holding the intake manifold down take those off and then get the two 13 millimeters in the back the ones in the front tighten the ones in the back too easy that bolt right there is a 12 mil that'll take that off so you can access the bolts underneath and that one right there is a 10 mil once you actually get the the bolts off the bottom of the intake manifold and the hoses off on the right side you can actually wiggle it out enough to get the hoses on the left side all right so i got the intake manifold off and there's a better shot right there that hose in the back uh, uh back right side of the intake manifold you just need a pair of slip joint pliers for that as well to get that one off 
Also, intake manifold will catch a little on the, the left side uh, where the left nut is. So just make sure you don't pull too hard. Um, that bolt right there, <laughs> that's what's holding the um, canister. Oh, those the 13 millimeter uh, nuts, uh, bolts right there in the back. I'll point at real quick. That's the plate holding it on and you can uh, access those from the backs too easy. As you see, I went ahead and got those off uh, on the right side and the front, and you got the two hoses right there in the back. Slip joint pliers will take those off easy peasy. You guys will be able to take the entire intake manifold off. I did use my Trisalta trim tool because I do use that for old hoses as well. It helped push it, and then I was able to pull the hose off. Great job, guys. You knocked out your coils. All right, guys, there you have it. The coils and plugs all done. Your engine all thrown back together and it's back running, running solid without misfires and ready to take you to your life's journeys. So awesome. Great job, guys, on doing that repair and knocking that out. If you found benefit in today's video, make sure you hit the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you subscribe as well. That way you keep on saving money on your vehicle in the future with my DIY auto repair step-by-step -step guides. So thank you so much, guys. And until next time, keep on wrenching, guys. Take care.